Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Lexington Legends Annual Media Day. It's a beautiful day for baseball today, and we'll be playing baseball in just a couple of days. This is always a big event on the Legends calendar. I'm Keith Elkins, the Legends Radio Broadcaster, Director of Media Relations, and today is the day that we get to formally introduce our Lexington Legends team that will open the season for us in just a, a couple of nights. Just got the roster in a few days ago and, and anxious to see this group on the field. So thanks very much for being here today. If you're with the media, uh, I'll give you one of these blue folders. If you haven't gotten one already, it's got our, our roster in it. There'll be a couple of last minute changes to that as there always are. And then also some biographical information on the uh, Legends players that will open the season with us. I've also got your media credentials today. And uh, anyone who doesn't pick up one today can get them at the, the will call window after uh, today's program. So we'll meet all of our uh, legends uh, just here in a few minutes, but uh, first I want to introduce Legends President and Chief Operating Officer, Andy Shea. Andy. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for coming. As always, extremely exciting day for us because this uh, is when we really kick off the season, and not to mention the beautiful weather, the beautiful surroundings. Great day for the Lexington Legends and for our whole community. We've got a lot of exciting things going on at the ballpark with the facility, with the operation this year. For the first time ever, we did a complete entire field renovation. Uh, the field looks absolutely beautiful, and as we start getting a little bit more of this great weather, it'll be even more nice. We've enhanced every single one of the group areas at the facility. We've upgraded our entire audiovisual department. And for the first year ever, we have an entirely free GIF Kids Club. So everything going on with the facility and the operation is very exciting. Not to mention a handful of uh, new giveaways. We've got more national acts than we've ever had before. And we have more fireworks shows this year than we've had in the previous 13 years that we've been in existence. Which takes us to two days from now, opening day, Thursday, April 3rd, 7.05 p.m. In recognition and in celebration with our Kentucky sports brethren chasing their uh, ninth championship, we have a handful of nine promotions going on at the facility with the Legends. For all box seats, they will remain at $9, and when you buy a $9 ticket at the box office, you will receive a free voucher for a hot dog. For every cash transaction at the box office, you'll receive nine cents back along with the rest of your change. There will be a 9% off in the Legends Locker, and we have nine innings of fun going on every single one of our nine innings with giveaways highlighted by a year of free pizza by Papa Murphy's, a Whitaker Bank gift basket, and an Adina Springs Farms uh, gift basket, as well as tour of their facility. So we've got a lot of great things going on, and we're very excited to be in this community at the time being, and as always. That said, in 2013, we did win the South Atlantic League inaugural John Henry Moss Award for our community services, uh, both in the facility as well as out in the community. And this is something that is very, very important to us in our everyday lives, both personally, professionally, everything that we do. And it's with great pleasure that I get a chance to introduce and have Coach Brian, Manager Brian Buchanan as well as his staff back because they're the guys that help us make this happen. Again, both in the community, in our facility, with our fans, with everyone else in Central Kentucky. So again, thank you all very much for coming out and we're excited for the season to get going. Thanks very much, Andy. And now it is time to meet the legends. These guys have all been working hard out in Arizona for the past month or so, and this group is the, the one that we'll open the season with. They're all trying to work their way up in the Kansas City Royals organization. And first we'll meet the, the man who's in charge of uh, the field operations here at uh, uh, Whitaker Bank Ballpark and on the road for the legends in uh, 2013. He's back for his second year as uh, manager at Lexington, his fifth year as a manager in the Kansas City system. Uh, began with two years in Idaho Falls followed by a year at King County, the Royals' previous uh, Class A affiliate. Uh, he played for 16 years as a professional and played in the major leagues for several years with Minnesota, San Diego, and the New York Mets. And we're glad to have him back for a second year at the helm of the Legends. Please welcome Legends manager Brian Buchanan. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Keith. Um, it's always nice to come back here and see the familiar faces and 
uh, for the fans that come to these games. It's, it's, it's exciting to get, get out here and get away from spring training and uh, actually turn the lights on and, and, uh, and start playing some, some games for real. So um, we're all excited about being here. We, we can't wait for Thursday night. Hopefully the weather holds off for us. I know it's supposed to rain. And Thank you. Um, but anyway, like I said, we're all excited about being here. We, we, I know the, the players are itching to get down the field, and uh, so are we. So it's going to be a it's going to be a, a good and exciting year. We're going to we're going to entertain you guys. Uh, we're going to play hard. We're going to throw strikes, right, guys? And uh, <clears throat> so it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun year. I know we missed uh, the playoffs last year by by a few games, but hopefully this year we can um, continue to to have some success and, and end up playing uh, later in the year. So. Uh, right now, I'm just going to introduce the players. I'm just going to run down the list. I'm going to do the pitchers uh, first. Okay, we got Matt Alvarez. You guys, just come up here and gather around. Or Alex Black, Andrew Edwards, Austin Fairchild, Jake Junis. Nice shoes, June. Kevin McCarthy. Cesar Ogando. <clears throat> Kevin Perez. Luis Rico. Jose Rodriguez. Luis Santos. Matt Tenuta. And Luke Farrell. Start making two lines. Come up here, Luke. Catchers, Chad Johnson. Frank Swindell. And Jin Ho Shin. Boy, Shin. Infielders, Michael Antonio. Humberto Artiaga. Samir Duenas, Carlos Garcia, Mauricio Ramos, Ramon Torres. Outfielders, Alfredo Escalera, Fred Ford, Elia Hernandez, and Dominic Taylor. And I should have done this first, but I'm nervous standing in front of all you people. So, uh, we'll introduce the staff. Hitting coach is Abraham Nunez. Pitching coach, Steve Merriman. And we've got a new position this year. There's a bench coach, Glenn Hubbard. A little tidbit about Glenn Hubbard. He's got the most fascinating collection of Oakleys you'll ever see on a baseball field. Uh, athletic trainer, Mark Kaiser and strength and conditioning coach Aaron Rice. So that's it, that's the 2014 Lexington Legends. <laughs> Shannon, you wanna say anything? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> all right, thank you, Buck. How about a round of applause for our Lexington Legends? Thanks, guys. All the guys will be around for a while uh, in uniform and uh, available for uh, pictures and interviews if you want to stick around for a little bit. And uh, we'll be glad to have you. Our, they'll be having a workout a little bit later on, starting at about 4 o'clock, and that is open to the public and the media as well. And again, opening night is uh, Thursday night, uh, 7.05, and the Legends will take on the West Virginia Power and also announced just today that our Saturday game will start at 4.05 p.m., uh, so that's a time change on uh, Saturday, 4.05 p.m. for the Saturday game. So we hope that all of you will be with us on opening night and very often throughout the season. And that will wrap up the formal portion of our program. We'll ask the guys to stick around for a bit and uh, be available for interviews and photos. Thanks very much for coming. And, media, if you have any questions at all, please see me. Thanks.